Tempest, Act 1, Scene 2, The Island. In front of Prospero's cave, Prospero enters, followed by Miranda, his daughter. Father, did your magic raise this storm at sea? If so, please make it stop. I have done nothing harmful. I've only done what is best for you. You, my daughter, who doesn't know anything about where you came from or who you are. I never thought of wanting to know more. It's time I let you know. Give me a hand, removing my magic cloak. She helps him remove the cloak and he puts it on a rock. Sit down. Now I'll tell you more. Sometimes you've tried to tell me, but you've always stopped. It's left me wishing you'd tell me more. It's time now. Twelve years ago, I was the Duke of Milan, a powerful prince. What happened to make us leave? Was it good or bad? Both. Wicked things happened to make us leave. But we were also lucky. My brother, your uncle, was named Antonio. Next to you, I loved him more than anything else in the world. And I trusted him to manage my kingdom. I left the business of government to him. But I was so busy reading my books and improving my mind that I neglected everything else. Antonio started to think that he was the duke because he was carrying out my duties. Oh, heavens! The king of Naples, an enemy of mine, listened to Antonio. They decided that I and my family should be forced to leave our country. They raised an army and, one night, opened the gates and hurried us through. Why didn't they kill us? Fortunately, Gonzalo, a nobleman in charge of getting us out, gave us some food, fresh water, fine clothes, and other things to keep us alive. Out of the kindness of his heart, knowing I loved my books, Gonzalo also gave me books from my library that I prized more than my kingdom. Thank heavens. And now, because I can't stop thinking about it, what is your reason for making this storm at sea? Oddly, good luck has brought my enemies to us. Ask no more questions. He puts his hand over her eyes. You feel sleepy. Miranda falls asleep, hypnotized. Prospero calls quietly. Come here, servant. Come. I'm ready now. Approach, my Ariel. Come. All hail, great master. I come to answer your call, be it to fly, to swim, to dive into the fire, or to ride on the clouds. Ariel and all his fellow spirits are at your command. Spirit, have you done what I ordered you to do? Everything. I boarded the king's ship. With fire, I struck terror. With lightning flashes, fire, explosions, and bold waves, I took care of... Everything. Everyone on board was afraid. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first one to jump overboard. But are they safe? No one was hurt. And just like you ordered, I've scattered them around the island in groups. I myself landed the king's son. What have you done with the ship? The ship is safely in the harbor. I hid it in a deep cove. You have carried out my orders exactly. But there's more work to do. 